Good morning, Calvary, and welcome to your word for the day. I'm Pastor Mitch, and today we're going to be looking at Psalm chapter 82. Psalm 82 is a great reminder of God's justice and his righteousness. In this psalm, we see God, and he's sitting in judgment over the rulers and the judges of the earth, and he's holding them accountable for their actions and calling them to account for their failures to uphold justice and righteousness. And as we uh, read this psalm, we're reminded of the importance of standing up for what is right and just, and even when it's difficult or unpopular. And we're called to be like God, standing up for the poor and the oppressed, and working to bring justice and righteousness to our world. Jesus himself, he stood up to the hypocrisy of the religious leaders in John chapter 8. And in this story, the scribes and the Pharisees, they brought a woman who was caught in adultery to Jesus, testing him to see if he would uphold the law of Moses and stone her to death. But instead, Jesus responded with a powerful statement that challenged their hypocrisy and their self-righteousness. And he said, let him who is without sin among you be the first to throw a stone at her. See, this story, it highlights the theme of justice and the importance of not judging others. The scribes and Pharisees were quick to point out the woman's sin, but they failed to recognize their own sin and their need for forgiveness. Jesus' words reminded them that they were not above reproach and that they too needed to examine their own hearts before passing judgment on others. So let's take some time to reflect on our own lives and the ways that we can work to bring justice and righteousness to our world. Let us stand up for the poor and the oppressed, for the coworker that gets picked on, for the cashier that's getting chewed out by that angry customer, and let us work to make a difference in the lives of those around us. As we reflect on this story in Saul, may we be reminded of the importance of showing mercy and compassion to others, of not being quick to judge or to, to condemn, but may we also be challenged to exa examine our own hearts and actions, asking God to reveal any areas where we may need to repent and seek forgiveness. Thank you for tuning in to your work for the day. Like and share this video, and we will see you tomorrow.